Colette, I'm going to turn to you and I'm going to I'm going to flip the question a little bit and I'm going to ask you, is there anything that the regulator should not do, the anything that the OEB should not do as it, it moves forward to try and reach higher performance? Yes, I could come up with a long laundry list, in fact. <laughs> One thing the regulator should not do is assume that they have all the answers because when that occurs, you lose the, the elements that Ben and David have so eloquently spoken about. You lose the trust, you lose confidence, you lose um, certainty. And so it's critical that the regulator approach this role with a sense of discipline and humility and uh, with a strong notion of how to carry out the work focusing on the mandate. What are the policies and rules that then must be implemented? And then picking up where Ben mentioned about the stakeholder process. What else should the regulator not do? The regulator should not bring his or her personal inclinations to the role. So that goes to um, embracing the mission. And um, for instance, in the US when we were uh, developing and implementing the clean power plan, that it was not my role as a federal energy regulatory commissioner to say whether I liked or didn't like the plan. The plan was developed um, by the administration and it was our role to provide advice and counsel on how that plan might impact reliability and resilience. So we have to approach this role with uh, a full understanding and embracing of our, of our respective roles. And finally, the regulator should not um, impose its will uh, in, to supplant what is best for customers. So this will bring full circle this discussion that Ben and David and I have been speaking about all of this work is focused on one person, one entity, and that's the consumer and how we all do this work in a way that is accretive to, um, yes, the shareholder interest, but equally, if not more importantly, uh, what is in the best interest of the consumer. And the regulator doesn't hold that card alone. Uh, it is through this very fulsome, open and transparent and collaborative process that we get to that place. 